Hey, Devery Wilkie here with Charles Wixom Realty. Just wanted to share some fun events for you guys um, here in Utah Valley for Valentine's Day. So I've got um, 12 of them here. I did send out this article in my weekly email um, earlier Wednesday. So if you haven't seen that, <clears throat> follow the link below to um, sign up for my weekly email. So the first event that um, is going on is actually um, past. <laughs> so that one was on Monday night. It was a um, family dance in Springville. So um, Utah County, there are a lot of family events. There are a lot of family oriented activities here. So that's kind of an exciting one. Um, another Valentine dinner date is at Thanksgiving Point. So um, this is on the 14th and 15th, so Friday and Saturday. Um, it's a really great romantic spot, so if you are looking for tickets to a nice dinner, um, dancing, live music, be sure to reserve this as soon as possible. The next one is going to be um, Valentine's Day Tastings at Taste in Provo. So if you've never heard of Taste, um, they do chocolate samplings and tastings, and super fun. Um, I've wanted to try it for a while, so we may have to try that for... Um, Valentine's Day. We'll see. <laughs> um, so that one is at 7 p.m. on the 14th and 15th, and it costs $35 to experience this romantic chocolate tasting. So kind of fun. Um, there is a Valentine's Day crepe cake workshop with um, the Mighty Baker at the shops at River Woods, River Woods in Provo. So um, this one starts at 6 p.m. on the 12th and 13th. So if you're looking for um, kind of a different activity, this one's a little more hands-on than just dinner, but kind of fun. It is a little more expensive at $90, so um, be sure to check that out. And then a Valentine's Day dance at the Bright Building in Provo. So um, this is kind of a, a fun one. Semi-formal attire is recommended. Um, so if you're looking for something a little bit fancier, check that one out. Sundance Mountain Resort for uh, Valentine's Day is doing um, Night Owling. So kind of a fun, uh, different kind of activity um, to go curl up together in the cold weather and have some fun uh, enjoying nature. There is a fine dining and show in Saratoga um, that costs 75 bucks. So this one is a, a meal of salmon and steak from a Shea Chef and Ballroom Dance Performance. So this is a good one to uh, enjoy if you enjoy ballroom dancing and fancy dinner. There is a Valentine's Day Masquerade Ball at Provo City Library. So um, if you've never been to the Provo City Library, this is a super, super cool building. Um, my sister actually was married there uh, while well, she did her reception there and now works there. <laughs> so um, they have a beautiful ballroom. This is a fun event. Um, you get to have live music, dancing. Um, this one's a little bit cheaper, so it's 30 bucks for a night of fun. So if you're still looking for a fun activity, that's a good one. Uh, Lucy's uh, Brazilian Kitchen, um, I believe that one's in Provo, is doing uh, full, full service dinner for two, and that is $40 per couple, so that's actually a pretty good deal. Um, there are a lot of restaurants doing uh, Valentine's Day specials, so be sure to check them out. Um, I'll link to the article in the description, so be sure to check that out. A ghostly rock opera, Deep Love, is happening at the Valor. Um, at 6.30 on Valentine's, so kind of a fun, uh, different kind of Valentine's event. So it does say to dress in funeral attire, whatever that means to you. It's a rock concert opera, opera that tells the story of a recent widow and her deceased husband's undying love. So kind of a, a twist on traditional Valentine's. This is the one I want to do right here, number 11, Aurora at Evermore Park. So Evermore is... Um, a super fun enchanting uh, location where they do all kinds of events they have uh, lights at Christmas I believe they probably still have lights there for Valentine's as well um, super fun activities I really want to go to this one so they're open 5 to 10 on Valentine's and we'll be doing wildlife magic lights uh, fire pits and interesting characters throughout the park so it's a little more interactive um, totally putting that on my bucket list sounds amazing and there is a partner's massage workshop at Purify Wellness Center. 
That one's $45 per couple. So again, it's kind of in that $50 range if you're looking for something fun. Um, this is for you to learn how to give your uh, partner a massage. So kind of a little more relaxing. Um, that would be a fun one too if you're looking for something a little more romantic for your partner. So those are some activities for you this Valentine's Day uh, 2020 here in Utah Valley. Um, there are tons more. So if you're looking for other fun activities, um, be sure to check out the link below to the original article found on Explore Utah Valley and check out um, my weekly email. Thanks.